all right so let's get to this question here so this question can say uh, <coughs> as a question so these two blue pens we got two blue pens for example there's a blue so we got two of them and they denoted by b1 and b2 so those b2 blue pen they denoted by b1 and b2 so then we have so we also got three red pens or red one red two red out of three and two blue pens or g1 and g2 in a class box so we got class box and then we got all those pins. We got two blue pins and da -da 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 two blue, two blue pins. We want to be two and three red pins. There are one, two, and three and two green pins. You want to train a class box. Suppose you draw two pins. So okay, so let's say it's a box and it's closed. You got all the pins. So okay, let me put my hands in. Tag. How many draw? How many pins you draw? You draw two pins without face looking. They had a pin. So it's like okay, put your hands in. Boom. Uh, you take out two pins without looking at them. So you don't look at them, but you gotta take out the two pins. So now what happens? So they say, uh, what is the sample space in this case? So a lot of, some people don't know what is the sample space meaning. For example, excuse me. Let me explain to you what the sample space meaning. <coughs> excuse me. If for example you play cards, like you know the cards that you're playing, like cards, cards, the cards that you play, like card. Card, card. Okay, so we know the cards have 52 cards, like the whole pack of the cards. There are 52 packs, and we know 26 are red and 26 are black cards. And we got two jugs out of these 52, two jugs, and you know, we got 26 red and 26 blue. So, for example, somebody asks you, uh, they say, Hey, they say, um, Okay, excuse me. So, if this is 52, we got 26 black cards and we got 26 red cards but in 26 blue card in the 26 black card we got spades we got spades 26 spades and the other one also for red cards we got diamonds and hearts these are red cards and for the black cards we got spades Spade, excuse me, I say space, name my poly spade. Another one, I just forgot about another one. Okay, so we got diamonds, hearts, and spade, and another one, the black one. I can't remember that. Okay, cool. So now, if somebody say, okay, what is the probability of getting diamonds? So, how many diamonds out of 52? Diamond, of course, is going to be 13 because look, out of these red cards, see, out of these red cards, so I say, okay, what is the probability of you getting diamonds? Okay, so probability of any event. But what is that event now? Diamond cards. So how many diamond cards out of all of them? They are, of course, 13. Because look, all of them are 52. So for the blacks, we got spades and the other one. And for the red one, we got diamonds in and hearts. Okay? So now, excuse me, for diamonds, we're going to say how many of them there are? 13. But, uh, so probability of any event, P of Diamonds, but what is our event? Our event is diamonds. You know what I'm saying? It's diamonds. So all diamonds for this case. So you take probability of any event means you take number of event, number of event over number of subset. Number of event means uh, yeah, that's number of event. So what is the event? It's diamonds. So how many diamonds? Diamonds are 13. So say 13 over number of sample space. What is the sample space? It means the whole cards, which is 52 for this case. So that's how you show probability, right? So, for example, somebody's okay. So you have a dice, okay? So let's see, you have a dice. Or oh, somebody say, okay, what is the probability of getting uh, jokes? Let's say you play card. Okay, what is the probability of getting jokes? How many jokes? So the probability of getting jokes. How many jokes in the card? There are two. But out of fifty, two. So that's gonna be a probability of getting jokes. It's okay. So give it one over twenty. One over twenty six. That's a probability of getting jokes. What is the probability of getting a uh, uh, red jock? Okay, it's easy, man. So to get a joker, joker. Excuse me, I was going to say joker, man. I say jocks. So I'm saying the probability of getting joker. So I'm saying uh, it's probability of getting. Let's say red joker. So get red joker means number of event of red joker. How many of them? There one red joker. One over. So I'm saying in what the sample space means all the cards. There are fifty. Two. So that's a probability of getting red joker. So I think you have a little idea of how the probability works. Okay, let me just give one more little tip. Okay, so what is the probability? Uh, let's say you have a die. Is it dice? So dice, you know, got six number means one, two, three, four. You know the dice, man. People play dice. Like, you. 
Rawlings, then maybe show one, show two. Maybe when you roll is the top number is going to be five or two or six. But oh, so for dice, what is our sample space? So our sample space. So sample space is going to be number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. That's a dice. See, if you have a dice, if you don't know, you can just Google what is dice. It's going to show you the picture how dice look like. So that dice, when you throw it, let's say you throw, or you roll your dice, you throw your dice. What happened? Maybe, maybe the one is can be top or two can be top or three or four five can be top so this is sample space means the whole dice the sample space of the dice there are six of them means all of them so let's say somebody say okay you are rolling the dice and the number which was showing you top let's say the number which you could see on the dice let's say uh the number which turn on top let's say number three so this is the event event is three but a number of event is one means how many than the one Find the probability of the uh, three B on top. So it's a probability of three B on top, which is our event, equal to number of events. How many of them? They are one over all of them. How all of them? They are six. So that's a probability of, uh, of getting, uh, let's say, number three to be on top of the dice. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's say you threw a coin. Let's say a coin. So I'm saying, let's say you have a coin, like a coin. So when you throw a coin, what is the sample space? You know, in any coin, we have two things head and tail, coins. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a coin, what is your sample space? Your sample space are head and tail, like any coin. Man. Come on, man. I don't have a coin, it's me. So I'm saying, but we know you have me. Head and tail. So now somebody say, okay, so so we know sample space means how many there are two number of sample space. Number of sample space there, there are two means head and tail. So somebody say, okay, will you throw a dice and head? Because when you throw a dice, it can be head on top or tail uh, on the bottom. So let's say you throw a dice and then the head is on top or tail is on top. So your event is tail. That's your event. So number of event is how many tails? Just one. So find the probability of ta uh, a tail when you roll is on top. So it's like a probability of any event. But also, what is that event is tail equal to number of event over number of subsets. So, okay, what is the number of event? It is tail. How many of them? The one. Okay, number of subset, how many of them total? We know all subset head and tail, but number of subset, there are two. So that's a probability of getting tail. Head is gonna be the same thing. So that's what you need to know. You see what I'm saying? So let's go back to the let's go to the question. You see what I'm saying? Because that's not part of the question. So what you need to know face the most important thing, like probability of any event equal to number of events over number of subsets. Very, very important, man. You need to know that one man. Put your mind, that's very, very important key. In probability, so what is the probability? Means probably, so probability could, could never be probability. It always between uh, zero and one. For example, the probability of rain to uh, for 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 something to rain or probability of rain today, it maybe it can be maybe it might rain or maybe, so it must be something between zero and one. There's a probability. So let's go to the question. Like it could be something, maybe half, and you know you can't have a probability. Let's say five. No, that's wrong. So it's between zero and one. That's a probability. Between zero and one, that's a probability. So let's go to the question, right? So the question here. So first of all, you need to know this probability of an event equal to number of events over number of subsets. Number of events over number of subsets. Someone right here. Probability of event. Any event equal to number of uh, events over number of subsets. So let's come here to the question. So let's say we have two blue pens. So how many blue pens you got? Two. So two blue pens. So we want to create a subset now. Excuse me. The word is subset. So our event, excuse me, our subset means everything. There are two blue pins. So our subset means our sample space, subset, sample space, our sample space equal. How many pins you got? Two blue pins. So B1, they even say not B1 and B, B2. Okay, now we go. And three red paints means how many red paints you got? You got three red paints. So three red paints. So we got red one, red two, and red three. Okay, and another one also you got two green paints. So you got G1 and G2. Okay, in a closed box. So we got this in a closed box. Suppose you draw two paints together without looking face and looking at the paint, so you don't look at a paint, you draw two paints together. What is the sample space in this case? So this is not like the actual sample space, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna have to expand it to get a whole sample space. 
Because remember, when this pen in the box is not like these red, they're gonna be together, these green is gonna be together, and blue is gonna be together. No, so we wanna see what is gonna be the possibly the whole sample space. So let's say, so we're gonna say, excuse me, so I'm gonna say the sample space here is gonna be so. It could be B1 and B2, maybe they can be together. So we want to see the probability of the arrangement of these things, like how could be arranged. So it could be B1 and B2, maybe they can be together, close. Or it could be B1 and R1. So it could maybe be B1 and R1, maybe B1 and R1, maybe it could be B1 and R1. Or it could be B1 and R3. Maybe they were together, one and other, maybe one and other three. You see? Oh, if it's not like that, because it could be one and be two. Oh, it could be uh, B1 and other one. B1 and other two, B1 and other three. Oh, it could be B2 and other one. Oh, it could be B2 and other one. Choose another pen, B2 and other one. Oh, it could be B2 and other two. could be B2 and R3. Oh, so see what I'm saying? If that's not, because look, it could be 1, B1 and B2, B1 and B, and R1, B1 and R2, B1 and R3. Oh, I think I forgot something, excuse me. B1 and B2, B1 and R1, B1 and R1, B1 and R2, I just forgot here, B1 and R2, excuse me. So we'll be like, okay, this is how to him, man. So I'm gonna write here, excuse me, B1 and other two. B1, because I don't want to read and sound free, so let me use another pen here. Ah, no, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just, just work again, so it's okay. So B1 and B2, B1 and B2, B1 and I one, and then B1 and maybe it was with it. Out of two, I wanna do the same mistake here. Oh, come on, man. B1 and other two. And we could be B1 and other three, or it could be B2 and other one. So these are sample space, means the sample that could be the name. So B2 and other one, or it could be B2 and other two, or it could be B2 and other three. Say, oh, <coughs> excuse me, or it could be. R1 and G1 because this one is done already. B1 and R1 is done already. See B1 and R1. So you can say B1 and R1, R1 and B2 is already. See R1 and B2, R1 and B2, R1 and B2. See R1 and B2. So now we have to go this in the other one because we want to get the whole expansion. So say R1 and G1, or it could be R1 and G1. Or it could be R1 and G2. Or it could be, yeah, R1, G1, R1, G2. Or R2, G1, R2, G2. Or R3, G1, R3, G2. What is now we having X pound? I think B1 and G we haven't checked it, so now we go B1 and G1. But that one should be prior to the vice final no problem. So B1 and G1, B1 and G1. Okay, now we go B1 and G1, and then B1 and G2. Now, between G1, between G2. Okay, let's see. I think all of them is done already. All of them have this is fine. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18. Did you miss anything here? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Which one we have the bad part? Oh, 
Alright, so this subspace, what is the sample space? Sample space is easy, man. So let's get it. So sample space, our sample space is going to be low. I'm going to write all these colors of the panes and then I'll start to expand, expand them up. So it's okay. So we got, which the face color? The face color is uh, two blue paint. Me, P1, and P2. Let me use the same color, man. So it'll make me good sense. Okay, so two blue paints means P1 and P2. Now, another paint we got. Uh, three red paint, so it means red paint. So let's use a red paint. Three red paint means to say out of one, out of two, out of three, and another paint also. A two green paints, so two green paints. G one, G two. So now to get a sample space, this is not actual sample space. So we're gonna have to expand because we don't have a guarantee face like oh. Big blue pen is gonna in the box is gonna be standing with a green with a green uh, with a blue pen. This green with a red pen they're gonna be together. All the green pen. No, we don't have the you know what I'm saying assurance in G G1 and G2. Also, you know, so we want to see the probability of the whole pens could be. So let's go. So we want to say face it could be face or the whole sample space. It could be maybe B1 blue one and blue B1. And another blue that together or if that's not a case it could be b1 and other one it could be b1 and other one if that's not a case it could be b1 and other two so b1 and other two if that's not probably could be b1 and other three so b1 maybe it, is, it was together with other three so i'm saying well if that's not the case maybe b2 and other one B2 and R1, between R1, or maybe it was between R1, maybe it was between R1, maybe, or maybe it was between R2, maybe it was between R2, or maybe it was between R3. Let's put a comma here, man. So all this could be said, means they could maybe together, 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 together. B2 and R3. Oh! If that, that, that's not a case, probably, 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 maybe, if that's not a case, probably, be, uh, it was out of one and out of two, or out of one and out of three. See, that's a, another probability that could be. Or if that's not a case, so, so, before that, before that, sorry about problem. Before that one, maybe it was B1 and G1, before that one, excuse me. Maybe it was B1 and G1, maybe it was. B1 and G1, B1 and G2, or B2 and G1, or B2 and G2, or if that's not a case now, so, so, so probably B could be R1 and R2, or R1 and R3. Oh, okay. if that's not, then it could be R1 and G1. Or the pen could be R1 and G2. Or it could be yeah, R1 and G1. Or it could be R2 and G1. Or it could be R2 and G1. Or it could be, excuse me, sorry. Out of one and G1, yes. Out of one and G2, yes. Now, out of two and G1, and they could be out of two and G2. Two and G2. Oh! Yeah, then we finish, man. Yeah, let's account them. So, how are they? One. Uh, out of one and G1, out of one and G1. And then, out of one and G2, out of one and G2. Out of two in G1, out of two in G1. Out of two in G2, out of two. Now we go. Out of three in G1. Out of three and. Out of three in G1, out of three in G2. Okay. So how many? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I think I forgot something. One. Okay. Which one did I forget here?
All right, so uh, now for a case now, let's go. So I think I have to go something here. You see what I'm saying? So we say, out of one, out of two, out of one, out of two. Out of one, out of three, out of one, out of three. And then out of two, out of three also forgot here. So I want to place here out of two, out of three. So let me put this, excuse me, I'll say out of two, out of three. And this is going to be uh, out of one, out of three. And this is out of one, out of two. I forgot one here. Excuse me, my apologies, right? Out of one, out of two. Ara one, ara two. Excuse me. And another thing here also. So it's gonna be the last one, G one and G two. That's the last one, G one and G two. So you see, these are the these are ways these pen could be stay to one and up. Like maybe be one, maybe pen blue one was gonna say with the blue two. Maybe blue and red one just gonna be together. So all of them we call them sample space. So from here, I have try to expand, and this is the whole sample space. Now let's go for the face part. They say, what are the sample space is in this case? Give each as a set. So as a set is so it's okay. So we get a set. So we can see it's set. We want like everything's in a set. This is a face set, second set, third set, fourth set. So this is the whole set. So we're done with the face part. So this is your answer. This is not your answer. Right? You know what I'm saying? But this is just help you to get there. To get there answer but in your in your uh, in your exam or in your taste write this this is your answer now we go for I mean this is your answer from here this is your answer here okay now we go for those are the this is a face one so we go for the second one so the second one say determine the number of num number space so we got to determine the number space so what does the number space means number of sample space now sample space means how many of them means how many of these sets so let's account them so let's account them let's see how many of them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Come on, I think I wrote more sounds here. Come on, let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. So channel one. So number of sample space. Determine the number of space. So number of sample space. Number of sample space equal to twenty one. Okay. Now we go write down as I say the event of drawing red and green. So we want to look at here, like because you know what? Why did you do what we do? Because remember when you draw, you draw two pens. And that's why I have to take two, 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 two. So you, when you put your hand in, you might take out of maybe blue and blue. Or you may take out maybe blue and red, red one, maybe blue one and red two. So you sort of pains. And that's so how to expand the whole. I mean, the probably you might take da, da, da. Or maybe you put in, you get green and green. Maybe you put in, you get red one and green one. So that's it. And you normally take two pains. So this is set of. You put your hands here, you might take a two. So it's sort of pain. Shows me. So now, they say, uh, write down, as I said, the event of drawing red and green pen. Red and green pen. So we're going to have to look at them here. Red and green pen. Red and green pen. This is blue and blue. Blue and red. Uh, red and green pen. They say red and green. Red and green. No. No. Red and green. Mean R and G. R and G. R and G. R and G. Red and green. This is a face one. This is a face one. Red and green. This is a face one. This is a second one. It's a second, third one. It's a first one, red and green, red and green, red and green. Okay, so this is a uh, red and green, red and green, red and green. Maybe you may have red one, red one. Red. So these are event, and they say here uh, write down the set of event. So we want to say now for third one, what is the set of event of? So event of. So event of red and green. Let me do this, excuse me. So three event of put end here fourth of red and green. I want to make more simple. What is that red and greens? All these ones, the one that I just highlighted now. So let's go. The one that I just highlighted them now. So let's go. Red and green, gonna be, let's go, let's get out some man. It's gonna be good too. <laughs> this is fine, man. I gotta write the cool color bracket. Red and green, I don't want a G1. 
R1 G1 or it could be R2 G2 or it could be R2 G1 or it could be R2 G2 make a space here so that I don't confuse other people or it could be R2 G1 and then R2 G2 or it could be R3 G1 or it could be R3 G2 that's the last one so these are events <laughs> so I'm saying these are event means possibly you might get red one g1 the two g but this is red and green red and green red and green red and green right down the set of event drawing red or green red or green so that's a red or green so that's an event now let's say tamam, the number of events of which number of event number of events of red and green that's what talking about so number four number of event what is the event red and green it's red and green it means our event is red and and green red and green Red and green equal. What is the number again? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Number again is six. And now, the last one they say, what the probability? What is the probability of you draw the red and green paint together? It means the red and green, red and green, the probability. So we know from here the probability of anything equal to number of events over number of subjects. So we can finish this easy, man. Number five is a number. Probability, excuse me. But the probability, so the probability, probability of this one, probability of event, which is event, red and green, always oh, equal to number of event, but what is the event, red and green, number of event, which is, what is the number of event of this case, just six, so number of event, what is the event, how many event, there's six, number of red and green, number of event, Number of event red and green over number of subset. So what is the number of event? Number of event is six. Yeah, red and green six six. Number of subsets. And number of subsets. What is the same number? Number of subsets means all these is out of everything. What is everything? Everything is channel one. Everything is channel one. Isn't it? Yeah, here is number of channel one. Out of everything channel one. So that's our probability of you drawing the red or green paint together. So, so like if you didn't answer something, you have a question. And you know, if you feel this video was helpful, leave a comment so you can share with other people too, man. Anytime you have a question, uh, you can ask me if you're free. You can reach me. You know how to reach me. You can send me a message. And I'll encourage more right on, on my YouTube channel. You got comments, leave them on my YouTube channel. And a question, feel free. Share with your cousin, friends, neighbor, whoever thinks that, you know, might need, you know, or you think somebody could, you know, could use my video. In productive way or in any way that you think can change the people's life you can just share with them thank you so much for your time man and don't forget to click that subscription button this face time in the subscription button the face time to my channel just click that subscription button thank you so much i appreciate man